Never expose yourself unnecessarily to danger, a miracle may not save you, and if it does, it will be deducted from your share of luck or merit. Engine room alarm monitoring system ROS1 failed. In case of failure of ROS1, ROS2 shall take over its own. But in case ROS1 and ROS2 failed together or ROS2 not communicating with field, then configure the running computer in this case ROS2 as ROS1. To do that, Connect a keyboard in the computer. Keyboard may be needed for later stage also so keep it connected. Press Windows button on keyboard. Go to My Computer, right click Properties, Computer Name, Change to ROS1, from ROS2. Now check and properly connect LAN cables connections from computer to other ports. Now check and properly connect LAN cables connections from computer to other ports. After checking network connections check other connections as in the picture. After physically verifying all connections go to ROS1. Press Windows button on keyboard. Select Settings go to Network Connections A window will pop up listing all available network connections. Check if Net A Net B Net CAN Net C are visible on that window. If all networks available then configure its TCP IP address. Right click on LAN connection. A window will pop up. For example for configuring net a TCP IP address. Right click on LAN connection. Go to properties then click TCP IP. Go to its properties. A window will pop up. There in IP address. Type 172.17.0.100. It would have been 172.17.0.101 for ROS2. Similarly change TCP IP address. For NAT B 172.16.0.100, for ROS 2 it's 172.16.0.101. For NET C it's 192.34.24.100. For NET CAN it's 192.34.23.100. For ROS2 NAT C and CAN NET addresses are same. It is very important to note that if NET connections are not communicating or its name is not correct or TCP IP is wrong then part or complete system may not work. If some of the network names are missing or not found on the network connections name. For example NET B connection is missing then. Connect NetB cable to bottom port of the dual port card in the back of PC of ROS1 with switch box. And check which local area connection port is showing connected. The one showing connected will be NetB port. Rename it to NetB. Do same for other networks if missing. Now ping all net connections. 
for example to ping IP address 192.32.24.100 from ROS1. Press Windows ND target her on keyboard then start run and type in .cmd in the run window. A command window will pop up. In the new command window type. Ping 192.32.24.100. It will start showing reply. After confirming all is OK. Restart ROS1 with DC20, a small icon on desktop, for starting stopping the AMS. After ROS1 started it will slowly display field units. It will take some time. If there is a problem with main engine remote control system ACP, not communicating or went to configuration mode. Then switch off both ACP. Power on one by one. Data will be copied and it will start working normally. Hopefully it will solve all related problems. Your valued comments shall be highly appreciated. Thank you.